So, yep, we'll have to find out on our, uh, next time. All right, so moving on to our next topic at hand. This involved Nintendo, and when this news broke, I was so happy because for those who don't know, um, whenever we upload a video, anybody uploads a video on YouTube uh, of Nintendo content, as you see right behind me, we get flagged every time, and we can't do nothing about it until this past week. Let me bring up the article. Oops, wrong window. Okay, so this was uh, posted by Nintendo on their new guidelines for content creators. Uh, we are humbled every day by our loyalty and passion for Nintendo games, characters, and worlds, and respect that you won't be able to express yourself creatively by sharing your own original videos, images, and using content from our games. As long as you follow some basic rules, you will not object to, uh, to your use of gameplay footage and or screenshots captured from games for which Nintendo owns the copyright Nintendo gaming content in the content uh, you create for appropriate video and image sharing sites. To help you guide you, we prepared the following guidelines. One, you may monetize your videos and channels using the monetization methods separately specific by... Uh, 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 cannot talk. I'm so hyped, that's why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Separately specific, specified by Nintendo. I know I'm mispronouncing it. Bear with me. It's uh, specifically. Yeah. Other forms of monetization of our intellectual property for commercial purposes are not permitted. <sighs> Two, we encourage you to create videos that include your creative input and commentary. Videos and images that contain mere copies of Nintendo game content without creative input or commentary are not permitted. You may, however, Post gameplay videos, screenshots using Nintendo system features such as a capture button on Nintendo Switch without additional input or commentary. Three, you are permitted to use Nintendo game content as uh, that has been officially released or from promotional materials. Uh, four, if you want to use intellectual property of third parties, you are responsible for obtaining any necessary third party permissions. Five, you are not permitted to imply or state that your videos are officially fitted with sponsored by Nintendo. And lastly, we reserve the right to remove any content that we believe is unlawful, infringing, inappropriate, or in line with these guidelines. And they have a Q&A afterwards for those who want to read our post in the chat. But finally, and the reason why, the reason why that they're finally ending the program is because of two things. And this is my theory. One, Smash is coming out in, the, in less, less than a few days. Like, I want to say like two, no, it's actually like two days, less, less than that even. Um, that game is coming out. It's going to be huge. People are going to be posting videos all over social media. Nintendo is getting ahead of that and finally saying like, okay, we're just going to have it a, a blanket of like rules and guidelines you can follow so that when you put those videos up, we won't ding you. If you follow these guidelines, you're fine. Um, and for a lot of us who content creators who make videos to have Nintendo content in them, this is one of the things that makes it... Uh, a, a pain to just not only uh, upload to YouTube and get it uh, claimed by Nintendo, but you know, not earn money from as well. So, finally, finally, Nintendo's finally it's time to figure it out. <laughs> it took them this long, but they did it, and they finally I mean, did. You know, you and I have talked about this a lot before in the past. I don't know why I turned on my Switch; that's distracting as hell. Um, <laughs> uh. I wanted to pretend I was Jessica, uh, not Jessica, uh, Je Jessica Chobot for a second. Um, <laughs> Jessica Chobot, circa nineteen or two thousand four, wow. five. That, that's a that's a deep cut. Whenever she licked the PSP, was like, <laughs> oh wow, you're going that deep. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, it was like fucking years ago. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we we talked about like the benefit that a lot of developers see from people streaming their games. Uh, arguably one of the reasons that fucking Fortnite is so popular is because of uh, online content. Um, and, and there's so many developers that talk about how important to them YouTube has been or how Twitch has been. Like, it's just, they're so adamant about that. And it was so bizarre to see Nintendo do this. It was so bizarre back in the day to see Nintendo basically be like, yeah, we're going to take advantage of the fact that you guys are streaming and, and, twi and, str uh, 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 uploading content from a game that we've created for free like most developers saw the benefit of it but at the end of the day and i pointed this out before in the podcast 
everyone is technically <laughs> doing this shit illegally. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just it's just that the, the devs aren't taking advantage of the copyright situation because they see the benefit. Yeah. I think Nintendo is starting to see the benefit. Yeah, and I and I think um, the, the, to kind of throw in the the reason why is because two things: Nintendo is very protective of their IPs, and like they will go to extreme very, extreme very, links to protect it. And and they are they, they are they are on Disney levels protective. Absolutely. The other thing I want to point out is um, it was that, and then it was oh, I just had it. I just lost it. Ugh. <laughs> um. But yeah, like they finally, they finally, they finally uh, starting to figure it out. Um, Nintendo has always, when it comes to the consoles, the, the, the major companies out there, Microsoft and Sony, Nintendo's always been behind regarding to catching up where everybody else is right now. Um, and they've, again, you know, they've, they, they're coming, they're coming from a, of a side where like they didn't really need the internet, and they kind of came in kicking and screaming, not wanting to implement internet into their systems. And it was only until. I want to say the the we had like the Wii period and then on they they finally started to incorporate it. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's it. This is a good thing. This is a good thing for content creators. Is oh a good yeah, thing. absolutely. That was that was the other thing I saw was people who had joined that program. You know, their their revenue that they were seeing was like significantly smaller than what they were getting normally. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, this is why a lot of streamers in general. Uh, benefits so strongly from, you know, like subscribers or donators or something like that because there's nothing that that Nintendo can do against that. Um, sure, if a streamer's playing a Nintendo game and Nintendo's just like, no, I fucking block or whatever, then sure, maybe. But you know, that's it. it there's the, the the law is so fucking fickle and weird when it comes to copyright yeah. on stream on streaming. Yeah. When it when it comes to YouTube, that's a lot easier for them. They can just, hey, copyright strike. But Twitch, it's like, sure, you can copyright strike the fucking vod, but you can't copyright strike the fucking live stream. Yeah, like it, like it's when it comes to Twitch, you can't like you can't really like just cut you out audio. The channel, maybe, but... Yeah, you can't really cut out the audio or like shut the stream down, um, unless you're Twitch. Um, as of right now, I know on YouTube, actually, that is a thing that people can do on youtube like youtube can actually shut down a stream if it's like copyright is or something along those lines that is being used oh, yeah. well, well, that's the, the way that it works right now on youtube is if you get three copyright strikes your channel gets shut down completely mm -hmm. um like a three strike system uh and on twitch i want to say it, it's possible on twitch but not like like your channel just gets deleted essentially but yeah yeah it's very loose when it comes to twitch right now in terms of, like what there are guidelines but like there isn't a specific like, like you know how many times does it need to be uh hit with something to be you know deleted so that's kind of pretty open-ended with twitch but in general like again like i'm happy the fact that nintendo's finally taking the initiative and uh, obviously this is because of smash coming out and they know that there's gonna be a bunch of smash footage going around um in regards to youtube well, there's a rumor twitter and whatnot there's a rumor that next year nintendo is like they're gonna be releasing a lot a lot of new content so like hmm, okay. from what i've from what i've seen like besides the shit we already know mm -hmm. uh there's a rumor that there's a um a metroid prime trilogy oh yeah i heard that too coming out yeah yeah um there's a there's I mean there's there's a rumor that we're getting a Metroid in some fashion. I just don't know what. Right. Uh, there's a <clears throat> there's a rumor that we're gonna get a, a resurgence of a bunch of different types of characters, um, like from the franchise in general. Hmm. Uh, so so let's let's think about the new games that we've gotten on major franchises from Nintendo. We've had Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. Um, we're getting a Metroid. Well, I'm, I'm I'm saying what we have. Oh, we, we have. have. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mario Kart. Uh, we got Smash, Mario Kart. Well, not even really Mario Kart. That's the Wii U version. It's just slightly upgraded and has everything available that was DLC. True. So we might True. get a new Mario Kart for all we fucking know. Uh, we'll think of characters that are in Smash and think about like the franchises. So like we haven't had a new Donkey Kong Country game in a hot second. 
We did we did have a re-release of the last one that was on the Wii U. Um, we have a Yoshi game coming out. We had That's a new true. Kirby game. Yeah. yeah, it's very true. That Kirby game is really fun, though. Um, so, yeah, we need a Metroid. We need a... We could use an F Zero. Win F Zero win. Like I'm like I'm, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> They've been saying I'm that just, for years. <laughs> I, I just I think I think that the benefit the benefit of having content creators on YouTube and Twitch and other platforms freely be able to use Nintendo con Nintendo footage without the fear of a copyright strike is not only beneficial to nintendo but it's beneficial to the internet as a whole so warrior where would be fucking great oh, idea yes thank if, you Ryan. If, if there is a warrior wear game i would lose my shit <laughs> i would i would man warrior wear is still a lot of fun well tomorrow night we know that nintendo's going to be at the game awards <sighs> i know i'm I, tomorrow night's going to be huge I'm, I'm working that night but man i i mm, i cannot oh, I'm wait fucking, i am stoked about it <laughs> i'm i'm, it, I'm it, mad it, jelly it, i'm mad it, jelly it, I could give two rats fuck asses about the awards. It's everything else. I love the <laughs> announcements for trailers. I love when, you know, like the announcements for new things. Like, it's like a new version of E3 that gives out awards. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, all right.